In the 1980s, Helen Prager Young managed to interview more than 20 women veterans who shared with her their experiences and memories in the arduous and challenging journey. And it took her 16 years to write a book, Choosing Revolution, Chinese Women Soldiers on a Long March. This is a story of, uh, that I think is, it's a uniquely Chinese story, but on a subject with universal appeal. Uh, that people all over the world know, uh, seem to know a little bit about, but mostly um, uh, they don't know details. Since published in 2001, the book has always been referred to as an important study of Chinese women in history. The appeal of my book is that it... Um, uh, is it can be in women's studies, it can be in Chinese history, it can be in uh, something on women in the war. So you know it it has a fairly wider use among professors who are teaching it. Uh, I also know that there are high school teachers that are using some of the stories in their teachings too. So uh, we have that much uh, exposure. So hopefully the younger people in the United States know about the march through some of their classes. Young says some pregnant women soldiers had to climb snow-capped Rocky Mountains and deliver birth during the march. Some had to give up their babies to the locals so that they could continue the journey. Their stories, they, when they told them, they were so matter-of-fact. They tell some of the most horrendous things just in this same flat, you know, this is what happened. And it was almost a, a voice that almost said, no big deal. It, it was, you know, just amazing. Young says their stories should be remembered and told. But it's especially relevant, I think, for Chinese girls because there aren't too many heroine stories. There are not too many models. And these aren't, for many of them, they weren't well-known or important people. But many of them became well-known and important. So their message is... Maybe pretty much what I said in the, in the introduction. They carry within themselves the same seeds, the young people in China now, carry within themselves the same seeds of the spirit and the will to survive that sustained Chinese women soldiers on the long march.